Affordability might be top of mind across the province, but inside Queen's Park, those concerns haven't led to much change. As Ontario's finance minister unveiled a $206 billion mini-budget, the word affordability doesn't appear once in the document. The only affordability measure, the temporary gas tax cut, which the government is extending until the end of June at a cost of $430 million. Instead of the little guy, the government is focusing its finances on the big picture. The finance minister is creating the Ontario Infrastructure Bank to fund large-scale construction projects. Long-term care homes, energy infrastructure, affordable housing, municipal and community infrastructure, and yes, Mr. Speaker, transportation. The point of the bank, to avoid having Queen's Park finance everything. While Ontario is putting $3 billion into the fund, investors like public sector pensions could put in a lot more, sharing the burden and the risk. The fund comes at a pivotal time for the province. The document suggests the government could face challenges as it tries to build 1.5 million homes by 2031. The province is projecting 268,000 housing starts over the next three years. That falls well below the government's own target of 450,000 starts in the same period. That gap is growing, and let's be honest, because of the Greenbelt scandal, this government is now a year behind in addressing some of those concerns. So to bolster construction, the province will allow developers to build rental units and apartment buildings essentially tax-free. And yes, that infrastructure bank will also help developers build affordable homes. There's many parts of the world where, where housing uh, is, is through infrastructure type development banks where you have a rev revenue stream and you're able to build more houses, like student housing, for example. To fund all of its promises, the Ford government is projecting a $5.6 billion deficit this year, $5.3 billion in 2024, before finally posting a small half a billion dollar surplus in 2026. And the finance minister also confirmed today that Ontario is not getting into the business of building, meaning they're willing to finance the construction of homes across this province, but they're not willing to pour the concrete themselves. Reporting live at Queen's Park, I'm Colin DeMello.